Hi, with the previous session, we are done with the concepts of Snowflake scripting. Now, I will explain some generic procedures or implementations. Those are very important in real time and these procedures can be reused anywhere. So, let's see what are those procedures and implementations. So, first I will explain a procedure for automating data loads. Suppose if I have different sources and different file types. In that case, so how to load all those files to Snowflake without any manual intervention. I will explain a procedure for that. Then I will explain SCD type 1 and type SCD type 2 implementations. Then a procedure procedure for one to view one to one view creation. So what is this one to one views? Suppose if I have hundreds of tables in my database and I want to create uh, views on those on all those uh, on the top of all those tables. So it is a if, if you do it manually it takes lot of time. So how to automate that process and and then I will explain procedures for dropping all tables and views from schemas. So you may get it out. So why there is a need to drop the tables and views from any schema or any database. Suppose I have a created a database and there are I have created lots of tables like hundreds or thousands of transaction tables. Suppose in future if I need to drop by any reason like uh, I want to change the naming convention of the tables or I feel there is no need of these tables and views. So I wanted to delete these tables or drop these tables. So if you want to drop thousands of tables uh, manually, it takes a lot of time and effort. So how to automate this process? And you may get a doubt like so instead of dropping all the tables, why don't you drop schema directly? So so most of the development roles okay the roles we use to operate with operate in the development environment or test environment they will have uh, table level and schema level access stable level access but may not be database and schema level access so you cannot drop a schema with the developer role you are using okay so in that case how to drop how to automate the procedure to drop all the tables okay and then a procedure for migrating the table DDL and use DDL from one database to another database. So in real time, we never use the stored procedures to migrate the tables and views from one database to another database. So in general, so we we check in all the code to online code repositories and from there by using schema change and Jenkins pipelines, we migrate the code from the higher environment or to higher databases like a test database or production database but in any case so if you are not using the schema change on Jenkins so by using a procedure how the table DDL and views DDL can be migrated to other database so here I am not migrating the table data so just a table DDL and view DDL so how to automate a procedure for that and then is it possible to migrate the procedures and functions with the same uh, approach I am using for this. Okay, so what are the possibilities? So if automation is not possible, how to do it manually? I will explain. Then I will explain a procedure for automating full load from staging to target tables. So uh, I hope you have some idea on what is meant by full load and delta load. If not, I will explain what is uh, a full load and what is delta load with example while explaining these procedures. So how to automate these procedures, how to automate this full load and delta loads uh, by using stored procedures, I will explain. And procedure for sample data setup for testing in lower environment. Suppose I have uh, my code running in production and data is being loaded every day. In future, if I want to do some enhancements, okay, and after completion of the development of those enhancements, if I want to test the data, so where can I where can I get the test data? So if I want to copy the test data from production database or test database to uh, de development database, so how to do that? So a sample procedure, sample data setup by using a procedure I'll explain. Then I'll explain the code deployment process by using GitHub and schema change. Okay. So these are some of these are very important in real time. Suppose like uh, doing the full loads and art, uh, data loads. This we implement in each and every project and code deployment is mandatory in each and every project okay so and scd type 1 type 2 implementations are very important okay so some of the and so if you see these these procedures you may not be used in daily life like um, every day to day work but if you go through these procedures and if you practice these procedures you will get very good hands on on writing stored procedures that's why i'm i'm providing some examples but uh, in some of the projects this can be reused okay
okay so this is about uh, this session let's see in detail uh, about each and every of this procedure in the next sessions okay thank you